What's up guys? We are in Durham, North Carolina. We are on the campus of Duke University. Sitting in visitor parking at Wallace Wade Stadium, or the football stadium, which is right by where they play basketball as well. So I don't, don't know the name of the uh, basketball arena, but we're right next to the football stadium. It's literally right behind us up that little hill. Um, sitting in the Science Drive visitor lot is what it says right next to us. So I'm going to bring you a quick speed test and showcase how 5G compares to LTE here on Duke campus for all three carriers. Pretty exciting? She's excited. So without further oh, ado, yes. let's giddy on up. All right guys, so we have T-Mobile on the left, uh, which is showing a 5G signal. We have Verizon in the middle showing a 5G signal. And we have AT&T on the right showing 5GE, which is LTE. So let's give her a whirl. All right, for the first test, for the 5G comparison test, we only have uh, T-Mobile and Verizon that are showing 5G. And as you can see, uh, T-Mobile coming in at 147 down, 58.7 up. Verizon, 243 down, 43.4 up. Both very solid performances, but Verizon being the winner in terms of the 5G speed test here. And then AT&T, pretty interesting, their LTE, 163 down and 20.9 up. So they have a faster download speed on their LTE network than T-Mobile does on their 5G network. So now I'm gonna turn off 5G and run an LTE test and see if we see any changes here. But as you can see right now, we have Verizon number one, then AT&T number two, and T-Mobile number three. All right, guys, as you can see, just to showcase here, we have LTE selected on T-Mobile. We have LTE selected on Verizon. We have LTE selected on AT&T. So now we're going to go back and do another speed test and see if anything changes. All right, for the LTE comparison test, T-Mobile 118 down, 35.4 up. Verizon 82.6 down, 17.4 up. AT&T 203 down, 78 up. So AT&T, even though I turned off 5G, doesn't really matter because they only have LTE in this area, but they are the clear winner on the LTE side, having the fastest download and hands down the fastest upload. And then comparing the results that we saw here, really briefly, for T-Mobile, you can see 5G is the better way to go in this area because you have faster download and faster upload. 
for Verizon. You can see 5G is the better way to go because you have much faster download and much faster upload. And at and you don't really have an option, but pretty solid performance on their LTE network. So overall, I'd say I would probably have to give this to Verizon slash at and only because you know Verizon's download speeds being 243 are pretty amazing, but at and coming in at 203 on LTE uh, is pretty pretty neck and neck. But the more impressive piece, 78 on the upload for at and on LTE is very impressive. So all in all, all three carriers perform pretty well here at Wallace Wade Stadium at Duke University in Durham, North Carolina. All right, guys, that concludes the quick speed test here at Duke University. Uh, like I mentioned, all three carriers performed very well. You can't really go wrong with any of them, at least in this specific location. So we're gonna drive around, maybe do some more areas in Durham or Raleigh, and then we'll bring you some more videos from an undisclosed area. So st stay tuned to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button, the notification bell, so you know when those videos come, because more are coming very soon. And do me a favor, I'm really trying to grow my channel, so please uh, get the word out, share as much as you can, subscribe. I appreciate y'all, because that helps me grow. That helps me do more of this stuff for you, so. All right, guys, we are now in Cary, North Carolina at Target. Address will be at the bottom here. Uh, we're gonna pick up a couple supplies before we make our trip to our next destination. But before, we are going to do a speed test. Surprise, surprise. So here we go, Target in Cary, North Carolina. Speed test coming. All right, guys, we have T-Mobile on the left showing a 5G signal. We have Verizon in the middle showing a 5G signal and AT&T is still only showing LTE. So let's see how they perform here in Cary. Sorry about the glare, hope you can see, okay. All right, so for 5G, T-Mobile 16.9 down, 24.5 up. Verizon 5G, 2.81 down, 9.72 up. And AT&T LTE, 51.4 down, 45.4 up. So AT&T completely destroys both T-Mobile and Verizon and it's AT&T's LTE network, not even their 5G. So if you're in this area, hands down, AT&T. But let's switch off 5G and do a quick LTE video and see if things change. All right, guys, as you can see, we have LTE selected on the uh, S21 Ultra on the left. We also have LTE selected on the iPhone. So now... And I'm not going to do it on AT&T because AT&T only has LTE here. So let's see how or if the LTE speeds improve versus their 5G speeds for T-Mobile and Verizon. All right, so T-Mobile's LTE network, 12.2 down, 26.6 up. Verizon's LTE network, 1.87 down, 7.83 up. And to compare here quickly, uh, T-Mobile, overall they're 5G. Uh, for some reason it's saying 5G on both of those, not quite sure why. But anyway, their 5G network 
uh, has a little slight advantage over their LT network in this spot. As for Verizon, they're just deplorable. No better word to use than deplorable. 2.8 on 5G and 1.8 on LTE is beyond bad. And then AT&T's numbers were pretty impressive. All right, guys, that concludes the quick video in Cary, North Carolina at Target. AT&T being hands down the best with both download and upload speeds on just their LTE network. I uh, wouldn't even recommend a uh, runner-up because they were both so bad. So if you're in this area, definitely go with AT&T. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, take care and peace out.